Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. Uh, I actually have a dinner to go to for my birthday, which was um, uh, on Tuesday, but uh, we didn't get to celebrate it, so family dinner tonight, uh, which is cool. But, uh, you know, my wife's trying to get ready, the baby, so I gotta grab the baby, run to Lowe's with her, and I got shit to do. Anyway, finally got this package from Midgard's Messer. It's the Mini Viking. And um, uh, I'm sort of excited about it, but at the same time, um, I'm not. It's, it's one of those knives where, like, I already told somebody they could have it if I don't like it. Uh, unboxing knife is the Chavez 229 Fanatic Edge Edition. Uh, with the frag pattern on the G10 and this awesome blue teal uh, Cerakote or whatever it is on the hardware. It looks dope, guys. And it's a 229 Tanto. Can't go wrong. Um, all right, so took a while to get through customs. I pre-ordered this months ago. Uh, it finally shipped, and then it took another month to get here. This is a cool ass pouch, guys. It's like this uh, faux leather with a Midgard's Messer patch on it. I think it's a patch, yeah. Midgard's family, Midgard's Messer. Pretty cool, pretty cool. These are actually OEM'd by Concept, which is interesting. So let's see what we got here. But yeah, Kyle, DTOM Knives and Gear, my brother. He uh, basically wants this. Uh, he figured I wouldn't like it and I would just sell it to him and then he wouldn't have to spend the money up front. Dick. I'm just kidding. But he said he'd pay me what he paid or he'd pay me what I paid for it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, let's see. Handmade knives made in Germany, even though it's actually made in China. Uh, but it's showing their other knives. It has a German looking Viking lady with a knife in her hand. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Pretty excited for this knife because, oh yeah, it's heavy guys. Uh, I'm excited for it because it doesn't have the crazy blue accents like the big one does. The big one, um, this thing is heavy as shit. So another frag pattern knife. This is the second one now. I have that Chavez and I actually have a third one coming. So apparently I'm into frag pattern now. Um, for some stupid reason, they decided to use D2 steel on this instead of like M390, but uh, it's CPM D2, so that's good, right? Um, ergos are fantastic on this thing. Wow, look at this little bruiser, guys. You even have a choil, kind of like a half choil. That's interesting. Um, good edge on it. Interesting grind. Got the stone wash. Look at this thing, guys. It's a little tanto, a little beast. Um, it's going to drop like a freaking guillotine. It better anyway. So detent ball. And there she goes. So let's see if we can flick it. So they, they chamfered this fuller a lot, which kind of sucks to be honest. Because you can't like, yeah, you can't even, you can't flick it because that sucks. Why would they do that? That's your only opening method. I guess they assume you're going to slow roll it with your thumb. That's silly as fuck. Maybe it's just oiled from factory. It might just have some silicon oil on it. Um, try to wipe it down. So you can see that fuller is there, but on the other one, the big one at least, it's kind of like not chamfered perfectly, so you can get in there and flick it, right? Um, I can't. And the detent is actually too good, maybe? The other one you can shake out pretty easily. No, there you go. I mean, the action's good. It's just silly that it... It's a thumb roll only knife, I guess. That's how they designed this thing. I don't know. That makes me not like it right away because I can't flick it. I thought I'd be able to spidey flick it. And it's really fat, you know. A Chavez is, you know, people would consider chubby, right? 
I mean, this thing's even bigger than a Chavez by a good margin. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, it, it, it has gone exactly like I thought. I really did hope that um, I would somehow like it and want to keep it, but not being able to flick it just is a game changer. I mean, that's obviously just stupid. Now, if you're right-handed, you could probably get your finger in there and, yeah, so I can kind of wrist it out. Um, yeah, so that works. Uh, let me see if I can do that left-handed. Yeah, so it's more of a wrist out flick. You're not just going to sit here and flick it, right? You're going to have to, like, give it some help. Now, my middle finger's fucked up. Maybe I can just use, like, all five fingers. <laughs> I'm putting pressure on the lock bar because I'm left-handed, of course. Yeah, I can't do it left-handed, but right-handed... I could do it pretty easy. So it seems like it'll work for a righty pretty well. Um, uh, AKA Kyle, if he has the money, maybe he doesn't right now. So we'll see. It, it's very well made. I mean, you can see the titanium is milled very nicely all around it. Backspacer's done really well. Blade centering is dead nuts. The grind is cool. I mean, it's a really sweet looking knife. I mean, it is fucking badass and it fits the hand really well. Um, I do kind of like it. I do. Um, I don't know if I like it enough to keep it around though. You know, it's a lot of money to just keep around to keep around, you know, and Kyle, I think would love this thing. Um, so yeah, that's a quick look at the Midgard's Messer Mini Viking. Oh, I did ask for number 31 or 13 because that's what Kyle has in the big version. And the guy, Dieter, said he would uh, try to help me out, and he, he didn't. It's 56 of 200, so uh, sorry, Kyle. No luck there. Um, yeah, that's it. Midgard's Messer Mini Viking. Appreciate you guys uh, taking a look with me. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I, and I love you, and, and I will catch you later. <laughs> oh, gosh.